I want to talk about staying in your lane. And what I mean by that is not not on the freeway on your phone and, 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 and swerving, but staying in your lane in regards to what you're good at in, in business. And I think it's a great topic. And I Personally, I've, I've had some experience with this and um, our experience was was venturing into a completely different um, offering um, than what we did. So we were mortgage brokers um, at the time and we decided to start a property advice business. Why did we do that? We thought it would be a good idea. We thought there was money to be made and, and there was money to be made. I'm, I'm not discounting that at all. But I think, I think what's happened over the years is – I've realised that at the time, at the time it seemed like the right decision. But the more wiser I've got with business, and I guess how I've seen our 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 core service uh, grow and how much I've seen that grow, makes me wonder where we would have been today if we didn't deviate back then. And you know, I will say, as I said earlier, we did make some profits back then. We don't have that business anymore. Uh, that business is long gone. So whilst we did it for a while and made a bit of money, um, we we did move it on. But what was the opportunity cost of of going down that path, putting resources into that business, which was completely different to what we did? And you know, we talked about this yesterday. Um, diversification, and it's okay to diversify, but. It's got to be something that's complementary to what you do generally. And, you know, we have done that now with uh, financial planning and insurance, but that is very complementary to to the mortgage business. And going into property advice, we had no experience in it uh, other than dealing with our own clients. And it just made me think, where would we be today seeing how quick we can accelerate our growth now if we didn't spend six, six to eight years, I think it was, on that business? So um, I think it's important for people to understand that. Bloody entrepreneurs. This is the thing. we uh, I talk about relevant diversification and I'm one of those on- entrepreneurial type people. You're doing something really well and you always think you can, you see an opportunity in the market, you think you can do something better on that side and you incorporate it. But just what Nick said, I did exactly the same thing. Mortgage broking industry, uh, clients starting to ask, I wish you could sell our properties. You guys, mm-hmm. yeah, we trust you guys. Hey, that's a great idea. Good commissions. We can provide a great service. We got distracted. And like you said, you don't know how much that distraction actually costs. And really the right move was to add another mortgage broker in our lane. If it's swimming or on the track, you get disqualified when you go out of the lane, right? So it's it's very much here. Know your lane and really drive it when it's working well. It's sometimes the simple things that keep connecting and keep growing, keep keep building mm. that makes all the difference. And I think that distraction, um, it's hard to ascertain the cost, but I've certainly, I empathise, Nick, because I've been there as well. 